the Ray Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. Girl, I hope that you are having the day of your life and that you are enjoying because, girl, I mean, this is what we do, right? Every day is unique, and no matter how hard it might look, believe me, things are going to get better. All right, guys, so I I'm doing a little bit of, you know, um, thinking when it comes to the Bravo world and the Bravo universe. And I have been having some conversations around and I basically wanted to know your opinion on a couple of things, right? So I have been hearing that certain franchises are kind of like hurting a little bit because of the lack of real drama going on. You know, specifically, I was talking to some people from the Real Housewife of New Jersey and some people from the Real Housewife of Salt Lake City, you know, and uh, and some people from the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. Now, apparently, because of the world, its views are changing so much. And now what is acceptable, especially with the American public, it's a little bit different of what was before. Now, reality shows are finding, I'm finding it like a little bit harder to really create a show that it will bring the attention of people, you know, uh, big moments that were created in history, like Teresa Judah is flipping a table or, you know, Lisa Rena like, like breaking the, the, the glass in Amsterdam or, you know, people throwing a glass on the floor or throwing a drink to another person that back in the day we were like living for it. And I think secretly we still live for it, you know, but now it's becoming less and less common on reality TV. And it's all because, you know, cancel culture and because pe uh, certain people don't want to see this. And also because now it's become a liability and here in, in, in America, like everyone can sue you for everything, you know, so now the, the co-stars are not that down to play on any way because now it's like, oh, you dare to touch me? Like, I'm just going to go there, not right? Now, I don't know if we're talking specifically about physical violence because I think that's, you know, a, another level. But definitely the little, like, micro microaggressions, you know, between each other um, also have been stopping a little bit more. So then... Are we kind of like, what kind of drama do we have? You know, what kind of shows are we actually watching? Because then when there is none of this happening, we're only stuck with like girls screaming at each other. And that's pretty much it, you know? And sometimes when the other person doesn't even respond, then we are kind of like, okay. You know, like, like Erin Litchie and Uba Hassan, for example, Uba got into like Erin's face and like snatch her, her her glasses and Erin is just kind of like deciding to not do anything i'm thinking because in the back of the, her mind she's thinking like oh no i cannot i cannot react you know i'm gonna be canceled this is a black woman if i do something i'm gonna i'm gonna be called a racist you know and all of that situations but then if we will go to the past i mean imagine uba hassan doing this to uh, uh, back in the day, Teresa or to Kenya Moore, like bitch, be things will be going down. Like they will be like throwing fists. That the, the wheels will be flying everywhere, you know. And it will be like a like a moment of reality TV, right? So I always joking because I sometimes I miss this kind of things, you know. Sometimes I'm thinking like, when is going to be too far? And how people are really going to react to this, you know, because the thing is like not everyone has the personality to receive a, a drink on their faces and not do anything about it or to react in a certain way that is not going to be too aggressive. Right. But when we go, for example, to Potomac, when everything went down between Candace and Monique, we were all talking about it. I mean, we were obsessed with the situation, you know. So it's like, when is going to, what is the right middle here? I constantly also talk, for example, about the Latino version of Real Housewife, which is called Rica Famosa Latina. Girl, it's another world. Like those girls, like, like 
a drink thrown to your face is literally happening on every single episode you know that's like the base you know these girls have thrown each other's uh, uh, like uh on, on, on how you say that thrown on, the, on board like down the board whatever on the boat you know latino moment guys <laughs> yeah uh these girls have like uh, throw whole plates uh one girl literally destroyed the quinceanera of one of the daughters of the other girl and throw the whole like five store cake to the floor and start having a cake fight with the other like that was like wow and then i'm watching this and i'm like so like oh my god this is great tv this is what i need but then i'm thinking like this will never happen here in the United States. This will never happen in Real Housewife because it's like here, like everyone gets so offended so quickly about everything. And then you have to add now the presence of social media and everyone canceling everything so fast that I'm thinking, so what are we going to get in here? Right. But then nothing happens. You know, like probably what is going to happen in Beverly Hills, you know, or, or what is happening in Atlanta or on new york you know and people are like oh this is too boring oh my god nothing is going on oh my god blah 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 you know so i'm like how do you how do these girls keep you guys happy if they cannot engage in any kind of like altercation right and the, their only guns can be not even guns their only um arsenal it's only like words how are they gonna create good tv this shows this is not a competition show okay so we are not here to watch them compete for anything. We are watching The Real Housewife. We are watching Vanderpump Rules. We are watching Southern Charm. We are watching Summer House because of the drama, because of the way that they react to each other. And every single time that there is a physical altercation, those are the highest rated shows. But then you go to social media and people are like, Oh no, how can they do that? How can they say that? Oh my God, cancel, 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 you know, uh, maybe she's this, maybe she's that, maybe she hate this, maybe she hate that, you know, and then that affected the shows, you know, and now producers are kind of like, so what do we do? So that's my question to you. What is acceptable to you and what is not acceptable to you? How far it's okay for one of these reality TV shows? Now, if you are th one of those people who says like, Oh my God, I don't want my kids being watching this or like being, uh, they're not a good role model. I don't think any person on a reality show, it's a good role model for your kid. You know what I mean? I don't even know why you would think that, or you will find a role model on the real housewife. So this is about adult entertainment. I don't know, you know? So where is, what is enough? That's my question. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to all of these Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you all around. See ya. Bye.